bowl down. I put the Cheerios in the bowl. I put the milk in the bowl. I return the milk to the refrigerator. I return here, and there you are eating the Cheerios. Did I call you? Am I your mom? Bye, breakfast is ready. No, I didn't. Let me ask you this. What am I to you? I'm your bro. Your frat bro. And bros don't prepare other bros cereal. Pledges sometimes prepare bros cereal. But I'm not a pledge. I'm just your bro. And yet there you are eating my Cheerios again. What is that, like the third day in a row? And where do you even come from? I turn around for less than a minute, turn back around, and there you are. Do you hide under the table, lying in wait? Are you there in the bedroom with your ear against the door, just listening for the rustling of oats pouring into plastic? Now, I don't want to make a whole huge deal about this, but having said that, this is like an act of war. You have declared war on my personal breakfast space. Not cool, bro. Not cool. And I don't think war is too strong of a word, either. I've established my perimeter, marked my territory with my milk and Cheerios, and you've encroached on that. Wait, are you laughing? At me? You're laughing at me? Stop it. Stop that. Oh, you got milk coming out of your nose. Dude, it's disgusting. What? Well, no, I don't want them back now. It might have nose milk in it. All I want is to know that if I'm eating my breakfast tomorrow and I turn around, I'm not going to turn back around and find you eating it. Now, come on, let's hug it out. Hug it out. Oh, don't fight it. Uh, whoa, don't fight it. Hug it out.